Stock market alert. I'm Rich Paz for Critical Points, 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, August 6. All right. Uh, the market did trade above uh, some price levels here to give us one of those uh, ready, set, go patterns. Uh, traded above uh, 52.50.89. And we're also setting up critical uh, projection targets now, uh, 53.45, 53.73, and 54.01. And the highest one would be filling a second gap up. So it's now trying to fill the first gap to the upside here, um, meaning it's got to go up into that gap. And then the second one would be up in that 5,400 area to go up into that. Uh, so those are our targets. And we're making an official call that until the market trades below 5164.30, we have level four, level three, level two, level one bottoms. Now, if it trades below that price level, we might wanna back off a little bit, but throw another quick dart. Another way of looking at this, you might wanna give this some more room and use yesterday's low at 5119.26, that would cancel our upside uh, of, of some of these bottoms with the idea that we'll probably will start over a little later in the month So what we believe is level four is up today. It may be down tomorrow uh, That's the interweek swings the level three is up today and can be higher into next week Then down but we think it won't come all the way back down or lower that it will be higher after that for the next level three and the reason is we think either today or yesterday the level two, level one's bottom. And that would mean it's higher into September, and it's probably higher into September for the level two, back off a, in October, and higher still in October for the, or November for the next level two. In other words, we might be looking at a level one up move from now into November. But the level two will cause a problem along the way, and it might have something to do with elections, it might have something to do with seasonal trading, I might have something to do with the Federal Reserve. We don't know yet. But at least both of those trends are looking bullish into September now. Now, all of these can be early to very early. This level three could bottom out now in the next few days to start of next week. So this could just be a fake out run up, fill the first gap, knock it down on us, and we got to start all over again. So I'm giving you the risk. This is pure timing. We're dangling ourselves over a frying pan here. All right. Uh, it may just be too much guessing here going on for these types of bottoms. Now, the level two, level one, in terms of higher into September or beyond, unfortunately, that doesn't have to start from a bottom until last week of August to early September. So the market may actually be going down that long, down for this month, not up, okay? Uh, so we have to worry over that. We'll have to fret it out, fret it out and sweat it out, whatever you want to call it at times but again until it goes below the lowest price of this week i think we got to give it a chance this market's going high in september and if the fed lowers its rate we may see it higher in november other than there may be a hiccup there in october we'll explain more of this tomorrow and on into uh wednesday or thursday for the weekly update but if you're looking to buy uh, especially important things like level ones level twos add to your long-term position I think this is a moment to do it, but I gotta warn you, disclose, this is pure timing. If you can't be accountable and take care of yourself and not blame others, then forget this information because this may be way, way too soon. We may be way off mark. But I like how some of this information is going. What might hurt us is more problems with Japan. Maybe some problems UK, France, okay? Uh, maybe geopolitical others in the Middle East or with China, all right? So, and maybe just earnings, uh, corporate earnings, business profits might give us some problems here in the next few days. There's definitely headwinds. There always are, and it always looks the ugliest, bleakest at some port and bottom. But uh, for the moment, I like what I, th I think they flushed out. Some weak holders took their profits. It was another phase of this great rotation and I think we just got to give the bulls a chance and that this long-term bull market is intact. And this was a dip and it did meet our downside objectives. It could be even a 1996 uh, summer setback that was down 10 or 11%. And who knows, maybe it's going to march on for years to come now. Um, got to take a chance at it. Got to warn you, there may be lower later. 
but there's also a chance this is lowest price you're gonna see for quite a while as well, all right? So there's your alerts, level one, level two, level three, level four, bottoms, buys. Most important is that level one, level two, when the market somehow can zigzag its way, it might be grinding higher, it might be a robust rally, but it can go higher into September towards the Federal Reserve meeting. Thank you.